All right, chat. My settings for Apex Legends. Ah, now suit our settings for Apex Legends. First things first. Hit start. Go on your settings. Obviously, we're gonna go straight. We're gonna go straight to the basics. We're gonna go straight for my basics. One of the main things that always hits me is auto sprint. It's the first thing I turn on whenever I make a new account or whenever. Whenever I need to redo my settings again from 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 the beginning, auto sprint on. Automatically, immediately auto sprint on. One of the reasons why I had to put auto sprint on was because um, I'm really rough on my analog. So my left analog stick ended up like fucking up. So every time I would run, it would stop running. So to fix that problem, I put auto sprint on. You don't have to put auto sprint on if you don't feel comfortable with it, but if you want to always be on the move and always be super duper fast, put auto sprint on. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Double, double tap sprint. You don't need double tap sprint if you have auto sprint on. Very basic. Um, dream remote, don't have none of that. Colorblind off, I don't use none of that colorblind stuff. Anyway, that's, that, that's the setting I have for my gameplay. Auto sprint on. Only thing I have on. Um, gameplay, is there anything else I'm missing? Yeah, just auto sprint for uh, the first section here. Um, I'm not a mouse and keyboard player. Let's go straight to the aim assist gang. Controller baby, you already know what fucking vibe. This is a controller settings video for Apex Legend, not mouse and keyboard. Let's shoot that real quick. First things first, we starting off at the top. Starting off at the top, button layout, button puncher. I slide with R3, I punch with circle. If you slide, with circle and punch with R3, uh, I just, I just don't know, bro. I just don't know. Plus, you could, you could punch with R2 when you don't have a gun. You know what I mean? Sliding with R3 is the best way to move around. Ever since Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, ever since Black Ops came out, ever since Modern Warfare came out, ever since Call of Duty came out, um. I've been playing tactical, which is basically what button puncher is on Apex Legends. Tactical is, is just bro. If 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 you're crouching with the same button you're aiming with, it's just so much better for mobility. It's so much better for for crouch spamming while you're aiming. But bro, the movement, the movement. You want to slide with R three. I I I I I. I, I, I stress that if you don't know how to slide with R three, learn. Because you want to play on button puncher. It's the best way. It's just what you have to do. You have to. Have to. Aim button, hold, obviously. Crouch button, toggle. Some I've, I've heard some people use hold. If you do, you're weird. Don't really want to get too much into that, but it's on toggle. I mean, I just like tapping it. I just like tapping it. Um, no, I mean, I like, I like, um, wait, crouch button. Turn the head crouch. Yeah, it's hard. Bird. <clears throat> Trigger that zone default. Mouse sensor speed. This is how fast this little circle thing is going down. I, I have it. Let me count that. Let me count that. I have it at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 ticks for my mouse sensor speed. Now, really, really fast. Really, really fast. My, uh, I play on advanced look controls chat. But before I get into my advanced look controls, I just want to show you guys my normal sensitivity and it's 6.5. My look sensitivity is 6, super high. ADS look sensitivity is 5. I also play on a linear setting and I play on a small dead zone. Movement dead zone small, inverted look off, inverted is weird as hell. Vibration on, I, I'm a vibrator player. I know many players that hate on vibration and people who don't play with vibration is just weird their penis small this it just it's, it it just it is what it is vibration on all the time actually go anyway <clears throat> i'm an advanced look control player alc my dead zone i have one tick one tick up it's just one tick dead zone size of the inner range in which thick input will not be registered smaller is generally better as more input allows for final for finer, for finer control. 
I want my dazzle on small simply because my analog right here, the one that I aim with, my right analog, I want to have as much control as I want with it. You feel me? I want all of my, all, all, whatever I do with my thumb, I want my analog to capture. I don't want it to be stiff. I don't want, I want it to be on point, on cue. Whatever I'm doing, it's, it's registering it. Outer threshold, um, width of the outer buffer definition, define, defining the boundary of max stick, it stick input. Some controllers need a very slight amount. This boundary is also where any extra yard or pitch settings will take effect. Um, I put that down. It, it sounds too confusing. I didn't know what it was. I wanted it off. Completely took that off. Um, I'm going to make a response curve. I mean, I think a response curve. I'm going to make uh, another settings video as soon as my controller comes. Uh, my new controller, I got a, I just ordered a scuffed impact. Um, it's going to come around August. But I'm usually, I play on linear. You know what I mean? Linear is your response curve. When, when you have no response curve, it's basically linear. I had to put my response curve up because my L2 button is really messed up. And my right anal, it, it messes up my, my aiming. So I put my response curve higher. By the way, guys, linear is like a really raw, raw feeling. So it's like, it's really raw. You know what I mean? You have full control. Like, whatever you do on your analog, the game is registering it. So it's very, 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 like, difficult to learn linear. But it's also, I really highly recommend it. But for now, I have my response curve at, um, let me see. Response curve 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 ticks. I have my response curve at 8 ticks. All right, chat. This is where the juicy part comes in. This is the juicy, 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 juicy part of AOC. Y'all speed. This is how quick you look from left to right when you aren't aiming down your... Um, let, me, uh, let me go into the firing range for this. Let me go into the firing range for this. I need to show you Here guys. I come, back from the sky. I need to show you guys exactly what I do. I need to show you guys. All right, guys. I was talking about was uh was y'all speed. Y'all speed is how quick you look from left to right. I have my y'all speed all the way up. I want to turn around from my left to right as quick as I possibly can. Let's say I'm getting shot from this angle. Boom! Somebody's shooting at me on my left. I'm already turned around aiming at him. Already turned around aiming at him. That's why I want, that's why I have my left and right all the way up. This is my left and right when you're not aiming down. Um, <clears throat> my pitch speed. This is how fast you are looking up and down. Once again, I have my yaw speed left and right all the way up, my pitch speed down. The reason why I have my left and right and my up and down. The reason why I have my left and right all the way up as opposed to my up and down is because I I think it makes it makes me stay more centered. You feel me? It keeps me centered. If I'm trying to turn around, if I'm trying to turn around and my sensitivity to look up and down is fast, I'm gonna be up here before I could obviously, you know, if you're you're better off trained, but it keeps you more centered. So if I want to show up here, I'm gonna turn around. Off rip. Already on, I'm turning around. It keeps me centered. It keeps me centered. It's just that simple, chat. It keeps me centered. It keeps me centered. It keeps me centered. It just keeps you centered. At least that's how that's how it is for me. <clears throat> turning extra yaw and turning extra pitch. Um, when stick input is at maximum, how much more quickly the view turns from left to right? Ex turning extra yaw is basically how much faster you want your yaw speed and pitch speed to be. I have it all the way up. You know what I mean? Like I said, I want I want myself to turn around as quickly as possible. Now, since my pitch speed is, is really, really, really low compared to my uh, to my yaw speed, I prefer to turn the extra pitch all the way up. So it won't be too crazy, my up and down, like too slow. And turning ramp up time and turn ramp up delay. Have it down. Don't like it. 
I don't know. I don't really don't know what it is, but I turned it all the way down. But for the starters, um, when I'm not aiming down my sight, y'all speed all the way up. Um, pitch speed. Let me look at how many ticks that is. Let me keep my eye center on it. It is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen ticks on the pitch speed. And then turning extra yaw, turning extra pitch and yaw speed all the way up. Now for my ADS, this is when I'm aiming down my sight. Um, yo Guzmo, thank you for the look. Like I said in the beginning of the video chat, my controller is really fucked up. Let me show you guys what happens to my controller when I hit L2, okay? Alright, um, look at my controller chat. I'm not touching it. I'm gonna hit L2. My L2 button, mind you, keep in mind chat, I'm not touching my right analog stick. It looks all the way up. It looks all the way up. So when I'm hitting down my sight back, it, it, it really, really messes up my reco. Like, I can't keep the gun straight at times. So I have to hold my analog stick extra, extra down. That's why I ordered a new controller, because my L2 button is broken on the inside of my controller, and it makes me look up, as you guys can see. As you guys can see. Look, that's just, that's just me hitting the L2 button chat. Anyway. Um, this is why I say I'm gonna make a new settings video because I I'm more than positive I'm gonna end up changing this changing my ADS Probably just the ADS turning extra yaw and pitch speed. I'll probably end up putting it all the way down When my new controller comes with my ADS yaw speed. This is when you're aiming down. This is when you're aiming down like that Very basic yaw speed looking from left to right and Pitch speed is looking up and down for my yaw speed I have it at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I have it at 10 ticks. And for my pitch speed, I have it at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Six, um, six ticks from the line. That's the way I go. Um, once again, this is the way it looks. Aiming down my sight. I don't want my left and right to be so hot. You know what I mean? When I'm when I'm in somebody, they legends. You can only move so fast in this game. You know what I mean? You can only move so fast. So it, it's pretty easier. It's, pretty, it's fairly easy for you to track. Fairly easy for you to track enemies if you don't have your ADS so 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 crazy of all, all the way up uh, uh, high. You know you don't want your. Uh, ADS super super high. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's how what my ADS turning um yaw. Extra yaw is. Obviously, this is um how much faster you want it to be when you're aiming down the site. And like I said, this might change for me. And ADS turning extra pitch is all the way up, all the way up. Ramp up time and ramp up delay all the way down for for the ADS target compensation is your aim assist. Obviously, you want that on, and mainly the target compensation keep that on too. That's your mainly, that's your mainly aim assist. Um, that is my controller settings for Apex Legends. I hope you guys do enjoy this. Um, I'm pretty sure. Um, as soon as I get my new, my new controller, I'll test it out and try to figure out a new sense for myself. Although I might stay with this new sense, I might go back down to linear, which which is what I want to do. I want to go to linear. I really like linear. So um in the meantime, I hope you guys do enjoy this settings video. And if it does help you guys out, please let me know. Please, please, please let me know if this settings helps you guys.